Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testicles, testicles. <laughs> it sounds like test levels. That's what I was saying. What do you think I said? Testicles. Dirty mind. Dirty mind. <laughs> got these new DJI mics, or the Mic 2. Expensive, mm -hmm. like three times more expensive than the Hollyland ones I bought to test out before. That Twice. didn't, yeah, that did not work. When we're in here, this is the, this is the problem. Yeah, outside of the van, it's fine. When the van's off, it yep. was, they were fine. Exactly. But, but as soon as you're in here, it was just breaking up all left, right, and center. Tried loads yeah. of different settings. Mm -hmm. um, it and just, it just wouldn't work. It just sounded like we were talking underwater, it was awful. It just kept clipping, it was cutting mm -hmm. out, and, and it didn't matter what setting you had it on. Hi guys, so we're in the van on another little van adventure. Another lights on, just checking the lights yeah, are on. Lights are on. Well, um, I, used to, I recorded um, my last out with Van's album. So it's not like I, I, I don't know anything about sound engineering, you know, um, and it just they just did not work. Uh, and that's why I bought them, right? It's mm -hmm. for this environment, because yeah. the videos we did when we went to Cornwall and stuff like that, when we're in the car, it's very hard to hear apart from you could hear this. Yeah, all you can hear noise, is the engine noise. Rather than you mm -hmm. or yeah. me. And we wanted something that was good quality for both of our videos especially you know when we're doing stuff outside and it's really windy because it's windy a lot here for some reason it's like bloody tornado season all year round tornado season tell the <laughs> tell the americans that <laughs> actually get tornadoes yeah yeah <laughs> english tornadoes breeze yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah so yeah they cost coming around which is i paid now it was over 300 pounds yeah it wasn't cheap at all. um but yeah just testing it and see don't forget to turn around on yourself yeah Oh, oh, sorry, I'm yawning now. <laughs> See, that yawn probably came through nice and loud. <laughs> <laughs> testing, testing again, just to see what the levels are like. We've been adjusting them to uh, suit both of us, because it's a shame it's slightly louder. And you don't want to be listening to me all day, do you? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> tell them where we're going, babe. Um, we're going to Ikea. <laughs> Ikea. Ikea. I love Ikea. We haven't been for exactly one year. The last time we Is went it? was August last year, yeah. Okay, so just annual trip to Ikea. Yeah, because the last time we went was literally just before I started back at work after being on my intent to leave for this one. And we put this one in the in the uh, shopping trolley and she's let down and spinning oh, around. She, yeah. loved she loved it. She really loved it. <laughs> we bought a little dinosaur, a long neck. Oh, yeah, the Diplodocus. So this time we're going down for her again. Mm -hmm. yeah, get to get a little, little table and chair so she can eat up. Yeah. She's kind of outgrowing the, the little baby one that, that we got her. Yeah, so she needs something a bit bigger, something that she can also do maybe her drawing on as well and reading her books. It's just better than her sitting on the floor and uh, just yeah. having everything on the floor in front of her. Yeah, it's Probably not so, so good. bad for her neck then. <laughs> and back and stuff. And mm -hmm. Give her a bit of a sophistication in life. Yeah, exactly. Instead of eating off the floor, that's not right <laughs> at all. Uh, not at all. Mm -mm. So I'm sure we'll end up spending way more than what we expected. It always happens. At but this time we've gone to Ikea in a van. Yeah. Something you always need when you go to Ikea. Yeah, the last time we went, we went in your car, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Every time we go in the car and jump, jump back in full of stuff. We do. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to turn this around and see if I can pick up any noises. I prob probably won't because it's been pretty good so far, to be honest. Yeah, we need to listen to it when we when ain't got the engine on, obviously. Yeah. And we'll yeah. be able to see. But mm -hmm. we've got the noise cancellation on. Yeah, we right? have. It's all right. Probably heard my vouch then. <laughs> <laughs> so intelligent noise cancelling. So hopefully it's taking away the engine noise and the, and the road noise of the tyres and stuff. Yeah. We're going to be getting on the motorway in a second, so it might be worth... Uh, seeing what that would be like because obviously mm -hmm. we'd be get, getting it to a higher speed so yep. keep it going um tilt down a little bit babe because it looks pretty high because uh, i've obviously i've got to you know i've got to accelerate so the engine's going to be getting pretty loud yep so like, hopefully you you guys won't hear it but it is loud 
to, for us in here right now. Don't mind if they can hear it a little bit. It's fine. Yeah, a little as bit. As long as it's fine. not like a big horrible rumble. No, not like, like going on all the other the videos. Yeah, yeah. So if you wait, get on the motorway, get up to speed. Oh, right to speed. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah, okay, getting in sixth good. gear, cruising speed. Wondering what it's like now. Yep, so let's uh, turn this thing around. Bit of wind. Yeah, it is windy today, isn't it? It is really windy today. Oh, come on, everybody. Right, so I'm hearing wind noise outside, engine noise, the noise of other cars passing by. Hopefully you guys aren't hearing it. I want to put the indicator on in a minute and see if you can hear that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear the baby's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's watching her cartoons. It keeps her nice and calm when we're on journeys. <laughs> so you probably can't hear that. I can hardly hear it myself. God, look at that old thing going past. I don't see many old cars on the road nowadays. So wait for those indicators to come on, see if we can hear right, it. I'm going to put the indicator on now. You probably can't hear that. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> There you go. All right, so let's, uh, we're going to have a playback and uh, see what the sound levels are like. Okay, so this is with the microphones off. Yeah, just the, just the iPhone mic there. This is what we were having before. Um, and the reason why we had to buy these other mics. Just for, just for, for a comparison, just in case you, you're not going to be watching the other videos. Mm -hmm. You wanted a direct comparison of what our videos were like before. Yeah. This is what it's like. Yeah. I'll put the radio on, you'd be just a little bit. You can put a dolly part in there. <laughs> <laughs> I like dolly, but not music. I'm like dolly <laughs> only joking, part. some of it's quite good. <laughs> I was thinking about music. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, film yourself and then uh, put it in the other format. Okay, alright, so we are, uh, like I said, just testing this without the uh, the transmitter connected, the receiver. Just the iPhone mic. Yeah, just the iPhone mic. This is an iPhone 12. And yeah, so when we've done videos before, it seems like it's really clear. We can't really hear the engine noise, but the mic on the phone picks up every single little noise and it's just very... Yeah, you can hear the engine more than us. Yeah, and it's just makes for terrible quality. So I'm going to like turn... This. Yeah, so I'm going to turn the camera around now and just film from the front and see what it's like that way. So this is another classic shot I would do in our videos, holding the camera at the front um, and just getting some, you know, some B-roll of the road. Which is obviously closer to the engine. Uh -huh. Right, let's try it with mics. Yep, let's try it with mics back in. So, um, so here's the same shot again of the road with the uh, mic now connected. Yep. So you can hear us, you should be able to hear us both perfectly clear whilst looking out of the road. And not hear any. Got it in wide races. angle or the more? Um, now yeah, it's on yeah, wide angle, it. but it looks terrible on wide angle, <laughs> to be fair. Too much light flare. But yeah, so. Uh, Hopefully this is much, much, much better and you can see the difference between the two. Just testing, testing to see what my voice is like. I know I'm not very loud, but let's just talk at a normal level. This is probably how I would talk. Yeah, but, you, you, you did seem quite quiet. Yeah, so I'm just testing this one. Testing machines over I, there. I know there'd be many men that would like a volume control on their wife. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Luckily I'm not a loud one, generally. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I don't know if it's because I've got the mic attached to the seatbelt, I don't know, and maybe moving around doesn't help, but I'm just not a loud person anyway, so let's just play this back yeah, and see. Yeah, well, that's why we've got independent body controls, which mm -hmm. is awesome. Yep, definitely. Turn you up and get you balanced in. Yep, we can. Testing one, two, three again, just turned up the... Um, so what are you on, plus dB? Plus six. Plus six dB, okay. Yeah, Shane knows all the technical terms. I don't understand it as of yet. Decibels. So I'm on plus two, aren't I? Plus I two, yeah. And I'm, I've just turned mine from plus four to plus six because I seemed a bit um, quiet in some of the clips. So I guess is... when we were using the iPhone mic, like, it wasn't so bad because I'm further away. You're all right close to it. Yeah. So we kind of balance out because of the distance. But now <laughs> yeah. we've got the, the, the mics the same distance away from our own mouths, mm -hmm. doesn't matter where the, the camera is, the mic's in there. Yeah. I've got to move into the other lane. 
that we're currently on the, is this the M4? It's the, the M4 now. Awful coming piece in, of Coming into weight. Bristol. Looks yeah. rubbish coming back out. Yeah, look at the bloody traffic. Yeah. Oh, hopefully it's cleared up by the time we leave later. But um, yeah, this is like the worst piece of motorway ever. Yeah, it's the M4, M5 junction uh, by the, by the uh, Seven Bridge. Mm -hmm. I just saw a flash down there. That's the camera that caught me speeding. Whoops. <laughs> coming, to, coming to work in the morning. Whoopsie. Um, I think I was 96 miles an hour, I think, oh. on a Saturday morning. Whoopsie. That was a bit naughty. Yeah. That was a big 500 odd pound final set. It was. <laughs> 550 ish, I think. Oh, bloody hell. Well, look, look, look at the way. They're over there, right? And you got the. They make the. Uh, well, they let the, uh, the tree branches overgrow so you can't see the things. Mm hmm. They're on this side coming in now. Yeah. And look, they put they put a great big sign there as well, the SOS sign, so you can't see it. They're really sneaky. <laughs> they are. Yeah, the cameras are, they? are yellow, so they, so that you're supposed to see them. But look, they're right there. That's not right. That's very naughty. Yeah. <laughs> very naughty. <laughs> All right, so let's have a listen back and see what my my voice is like. All right, we're getting close now, I believe. It is fish pond, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. So yeah. Yeah, we're going starting to go down. It's a 60 mile an hour now, and we're starting to come into Bristol. And one of the reasons why I bought a van with the two litre engine with the wet belt in it is because of reasons like this going to Bristol, going to Birmingham, you've got the ULES compliant areas, mm -hmm. um, going to London, obviously. And I went to Heathrow, I flew out of work um, last week, and uh, Heathrow is now in a ULES compliant area, so even if you're just going to the airport, you're not even going into London, you've got to pay like £15 or whatever it is. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, it really to, to is. To go in that area, and, there, and there, there, are, there are cameras as soon as you come off the motorway, it's right there. Yep. Um, so there's no getting away from it. Um, and paying £15 every time you want to go into the sea, who knows what it's going to be like in a few years' time, whether, whether where we live has got cameras you know yeah um, they just don't want people to be driving at all do they they just don't want cars well, on the road they're, they're making it very driving. difficult <laughs> they're just yeah. making, pay. Um, making so loads I of bloody money spend a bit more money get something newer less miles um yeah hopefully better reliability yeah yeah invest a load of money in do, doing the doing it up into a camper yeah. on a good base model rather than getting something old yeah we both agreed that getting something old was just not what we wanted to do because the amount of problems that people have with older vans i know it's probably easier to fix them because it generally is easier to fix an older car or van but um it's just if you're fixing it all the time there's constantly things wrong and then you're spending so much money what's the point point? i don't want to be you know traveling somewhere really far away or, or be on my own and break down somewhere and not oh, it's like your brother he's, he's got a whole new head for his, his van, when he goes away, he takes away spare parts for everything. Yeah. And luckily, he knows what he's doing if, if things do break down, but that's not what we wanted for ourselves. Yeah. Oh, look. Well, it's some reliability. I don't want to have to take loads of spares with me and change a head at the side of the road. <laughs> that's no. not right. No, I don't really fancy doing that. <laughs> Ikea. Right, let's see if we can get under this. Oh, gosh. 1.9. No, oh, we can't get in there's there. There's no way. Oh, shoot. What are we going to do? We can't get in there. We're going to have to do a million point turn. Right, we'll be back to you in a minute, guys. Oh. Good girl, Okay, we'll stop, stop, stop. Wait, wait, wait. Here we are, right here. We parked right at the back, so we're far away. Far enough yeah, away from my buddy. Yeah, there's loads of uh, undesirables coming and park next to us. I know. They're probably doing deals up there. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> Right, she's not holding my hand now. She don't want to hold me. Oh, she's independent. <laughs> Come on, hold my hand. There you go. Good, Good girl. girl, Papa. Right, so we're going to go inside and see what the uh, sand is like when we get inside the shop. Yeah, what's the levels like? For, uh, as a bit of interest, what are the levels like coming up on the side? Um, so they, go up about, outside. they go up about three quarters of the way. So they're going up pretty much the same as they were before? Yeah, I'd say so. So, well, we'll see what it's like. Yeah, if we'll get inside and show you. So we're inside IKEA. I haven't changed the settings because we just we were just looking and testing, and they seem to be at the same levels as they were in the yeah, van, so it should be okay in here. There's quite a lot of background noise from other people. The 
mm -hmm. aircon in here in certain places. It got quieter as we went through this bit. Yep. So it depends where you are. Obviously, the food court and stuff like that is uh, Mega noisy. a lot more ambient noise going through it. Oh, I love IKEA so much. <laughs> yeah. It's always fun going to IKEA. Always. Apart when you get to the till, <laughs> you realise how much you spent. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Testing the office chair. <laughs> it was 300 quid. <gasps> no. 329. Oh, God. This is a really nice little space. Nice and dark, the way we like it. You got your light off. Have I? Yes. Oh, that came on automatically then. Turn it off. Oh, yeah. Love looking at all the little steps in this place. It's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> we just went past the Star Wars light in the other room as well, but there were loads of kids playing with it, so I couldn't film it, but <sighs> love that light. I don't know if we said before, but we are on a hunt for a small table and chair for this one. Mm. She's um, mesmerized by the magic that is Ikea right now. <laughs> Even though she's been here before. Yeah. Yeah, the last time she was here, she was 11 months old and now she's 23 months old. Not long until she's two. How did that happen? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> So he's going to take Keep Ruby out of, the, out of the trolley. We may lose her to all Come the on trolleys. In. Have a look. See ya. In this way. Come on then. <laughs> yeah, look. Sure, yeah, that's right. Oh, hang on. Let's move this in. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good size. Do you like that? It's cheap. Yeah, that's really cheap. Twenty-five pound for the whole for that in two, two chairs. chairs. That's decent. What do you think right, of that one? Let's move you in. There you go. What's what that do you like? Think? Is that good? Seems, seems a good height for her. I think that looks a lot better. Yeah. Ruby. <laughs> Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's in there? There's a little chair in there. Okay. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah? She likes testing out beds. She loves pulling the blankets up on herself. <laughs> There's another bed there. Yeah, soon we'll take the side off yours and you can get in the bed by yourself. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Time for bed. Got me to help. There you go. She's got it. Good girl. Night night. Good night. Bedtime. Good night. <laughs> Bedtime. <laughs> There's some screechy kid over there. <laughs> I just just picked this up. Eight pounds with a glass lid. That'd be good for our our cooker. I'll just come over here. Saw these metal plates. A pack of two. Two pound fifty down from seven quid. Yeah, look at that. One fifty for the smaller ones. The bowls are one fifty. That's a really good price. And two fifty for the kind of like deep dish ones. This would be great for the van because they're, they're metal. Oh, these ones would be really good for the curry that we do. Yeah. That's a perfect curry dish. Yeah, because it's not too massive. Yeah, you know, massive. It's uh, that'd be really good. Yeah, it's like a wide bowl, so that'd be perfect. Rice curry, bit of naan bread. Mm. So a set of four would be five pounds. But I think of uh, Ruby, right? Yeah, we do. Who's rearranging all the, the, the stuff? Other ones. <laughs> so maybe two of the bowls and two of the smaller ones, possibly. Do we need these? Mm, maybe not. I mean, or, they'd be good for noodles. Or do we and have things. that? Because she'd only have a small bowl. Like yeah, that. she will have a small We'd bowl. We'd have that. Mm -hmm. Two big plates. Yeah, for breakfast. Two small plates. Yeah. That'd be good for breakfast and curries and noodles and, and things like that. she would eat this size, right? Yeah, she would. I mean, for the price, that's really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. It costs eight quid for all that. And eight pounds for this. <laughs> so 16 pounds. That's a bargain. And you saw loads of knives and forks over there for like next to nothing. But yeah. I know we've got a cafe oh. set. Hold on. Escapee child. Let's bring this back over here and not go into the crockery. <laughs> <sighs> so these would be decent. I think so, yeah. Definitely. Obviously not many people are buying metal ones, but it's perfect for camping. Yeah. 
actually feel really good. Okay, they'll be, they'll be really good. I don't know how long we've been, but we've been quite a while, and now we're now going, taking the I don't descent. Know what time we've gone here. I don't know either. It's half six. Okay, so we're taking the descent down to the uh, the next level. Next level. God. We didn't get a table and chair, so we got a, a cushion. <laughs> One of those things that you have in bed, so our breakfast in bed. Yeah, we, we, fine for a we while. tested it on the floor with her and she seemed fine. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God, where are all the candles? Oh, I can yeah, see them. Candles there. Oh, I can see them now. I could not see. I got scared then. I love the candle section. Yeah. We've made it to the end. This one almost had a bit of a meltdown, but she needed yeah. snacks. Luckily, so, uh, snacks and a drink of water. Yeah. And look at that rug. Look at that <laughs> door rug. Halloween month is almost upon us. Mm -hmm. Oh, can't wait. It's busy as heck in here as well. Like there are so many people, it's insane. Ignore the mess on the table. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, IKEA food. They do double hold dogs though. Mm -hmm. You like two in the same thing. I do, they're good. Yeah. Meaty. Hmm? Meaty. Meaty. <laughs> oh. Wee. <laughs> 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 She's doing that with a D D D D D D D D D Simple things in life. D D D D D D We are now done. I think we're in there for about two and a half hours. <coughs> She's having a great time. It's past the bedtime. She's full of beans. We'll try and keep her awake. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so we've left IKEA back on the motorway now. Uh, we're on the road. Oh, heading there. Yeah, heading there. <laughs> so yeah, we think. Well, we'll check the footage back afterwards, obviously, and see if it's all good, but we're pretty sure it's going to be much better than the other uh, mics that we've been trying. <laughs> yep, definitely. Except those Hollyland ones looked like they'd be really good. They were small. Very good quality, it seemed as yeah. well. Yeah, the whole, the whole case and everything seemed, mm -hmm. seemed good. Yeah. Not as good as the case of this. This case is mega. It's epic. <laughs> it's, it's really big, but it's very good. Yeah, not really big. It was bigger than the Hollyland. Well, yeah, bigger than the... The other ones, yeah, I can't yeah. remember the name. The Hollyland. Yeah. But I'll, I'll, I'll put in the description a link to the Hollyland ones, mm -hmm. the ones that, we, that I bought first. Because yeah. they had some really good reviews, like loads. Yeah, and they, to and be they fair, might, they were good when not being used yes. in a moving vehicle. So they might be suitable for you and you can save some money. But if you're in a noisy environment like this, mm -hmm. it was just, well, even though it's not that noisy, it's not really a noisy van. Yeah, it's not. You know? Um, but it's obviously too noisy for, for, for those, yeah, the, which I don't get, I don't get. No, I don't understand either. The, the mic's obviously just very sensitive to all the, uh, I don't want to call it white oh, noise, but... Yeah. Oh dear, you okay? <coughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but, but so far so good with ease. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, we'll watch it back just to check. Yeah, we will, before we uh, put, put a review up. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Bye. Stereo setting just to see what it's like. Yep, stereo mode. So I'm hoping I'm coming out the right and Helen's coming out of the, the left. There you go. <laughs> now we had it in mono the whole rest of the time, mm -hmm. um, which is pretty safe to do so, right? But um, I know if you have it in stereo mode, you can give you a lot more flexibility. 
can post. So if you if you're someone that um, edits on a computer with some software rather than iMovie Maker on the iPhone, because if you're on the iMovie Maker on the iPhone, just may as well have it mono. Mm -hmm. Unless what we're doing now, it's fine, right? If this works really nicely, then we'll, we'll also have it in stereo. It gives us the opportunity to edit on the phone quite yes. easily. But if you're in some other software where you've got more functionality, it gives you a lot more flexibility. Where, where if I'm right and you're left, you can pan it across to the left a little bit more if, for instance, I'm too loud, right? Or yeah. a little bit more finicky, you can separate mm -hmm. or isolate the, uh, the left and right tracks and completely cut me off. Say I was off walking around somewhere and you were doing a video, I start talking, oh, I've gone to the toilet, <laughs> something like that, and, you know, and it's still yeah. on. Mm -hmm. You could cut the right side out completely. Oh, you know? That'd be good if you're like, you know, in the loo and having your weird, like, oh, let's cut that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or if I'm, or something else, you know, you, yeah. you've got a lot more flexibility mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. Where when it's in mono, you're both mixed directly into the same track as you're recording. There's no isolation whatsoever. Um, so it would give you a lot more flexibility if I have it on stereo. Especially if you're of, of the sort of person that would be editing and and having those features available. Yeah, definitely. Which I would normally. Uh, I didn't, if I didn't have such a slow laptop, because even yeah. though it's only, I don't know, five or six years old, that's like ancient in technology. So my <laughs> computer is extremely slow. So I, I tried to edit some stuff on, on my laptop, but it does, it, it takes so, so long, I get so frustrated with it. I've just been doing it on my phone, so. And, and that's the problem I got as well, right? Mm -hmm. My computer's for my photography, not, yeah. not mixing it with uh, video editing software. I used to edit loads of stuff on videos and make my own DVDs back in the day, <laughs> and, you know, do all the menus and stuff. I used to love it. Um, so I know all that functionality is there. Um, yeah, but if this works for iMovie Maker, then great, cool. But don't know how it sounds until we uh, until we listen to it back after we've done the video. Yeah, and then we watch we can... it back on our TV or yeah. something. Yeah. Let's get around these cyclists. Oh dear, Bubba. Oh. Cut off. But there you go. Um, hopefully that was useful to people. Yeah. And uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, so uh, that's our test of the DJI Mic 2. Mic 2, um, yep. I'm sure we'll do other videos, but yeah, so hopefully this has been helpful and... Well, one thing we haven't done, we haven't used the dead cats with the wind, but we know, already know that works fantastically, so... Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, no point uh, trying it on our video. We're just basically testing it out in the, in the van situation for, for people that like to vlog their journeys and stuff. Yeah, which we do a lot of, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. I might have a, might have a car, there's a big V8 Jag with a loud exhaust, that's, that wouldn't yeah. have been any good with the other mics either, right? Definitely not. If, if this thing was too loud for the, that other mic, they, there's no way it would have handled your Jag, yeah. because that thing is so, so loud. And very low. Yeah. So I would like to test this with that as well at some point. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, that could be another so keep, video. So keep an eye on another video, we'll do that with the Jag. May even because the different mics, they may even put one outside for the exhaust as well, and just kind of yeah, see what we can get. Right, it could nice. be quite cool. That'd be really nice. Hear yeah. the sound through through a decent mic. That'd yeah, yeah, really from the outside and Ooh. blast it down some country road. Oh, yeah, so um, so subscribe and watch out for the channel, uh, and and we'll do that test. Yeah, definitely. Do that test next. Yeah, sounds good. All right, guys, we'll uh, see you in the next video. Then. <laughs> see you later. Bye.